Hello and welcome, it's Kosh here at Granite City RC and uh, I know I've just rebuilt all this so I haven't actually been outside to properly test it but I have kind of moved this against my hand just to see that it does work it's all good um, but having just reassembled it I'm gonna install that Bring it in close so you can actually see if I can line up. There we go. Um, if you can read, I want to say Swiss, but that's not really a language, is it? It's French or German, I think. That's what I've got, which is a weight for the bottom here. So um, I'm going to have to disassemble the tracks which means getting these off and I might finally actually get around to cleaning the mud off the tracks yeah who knows uh, but yeah let's get this taken apart and um, start throwing in this uh, this weight it, I don't think it needs fixed it should just slide into position in the undercarriage Like that, I think, in there, in, in there somewhere. But um, I did have a quick look online. I think basically you've got to undo each of the little runners, which, to be honest, some of them almost seem a little loose anyway. But, uh, anyway, uh, take all them off, take the tracks off, and. Uh, yeah, unscrew there's like a few different places on the bottom. But anyway, that's, that's enough of that. So let's go ahead and start to try and take everything apart. This button plate off now. Uh, let's try and fit this weight. So I think this weight adds something like 640 grams. So it's almost like another half kilogram <laughs> to the uh, to the machine. 
getting low down that should help keep it a bit more stable. Does this thing want to fit in there? trapped in there. And that's actually quite a nice tight snug fit. It's got a couple of felt pads each side to it's obvious to keep that from going anywhere, and once it's in, it, <laughs> it feels like it's in. And as mentioned, that'll just be pressed under there, that's fine. Uh, seems pretty well machined, doesn't feel like there's any real sharp edges to it, so I'm not going to worry too much about any wires getting damaged, I think. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll get this thrown back on. But that's quite uh, quite an easy upgrade, I guess. Um, <laughs> I'm all for the easiness. But, uh, but yeah, I'll, I'll get everything thrown together and uh, we'll have to see how well that copes now. Oh, that's going to be fine, I'm sure. Anyway, let's get this put back together. So there we go. This is now uh <laughs> Oh that's nice. So yeah, simple upgrade, but um hopefully it's gonna be well worth it. Uh add a bit more low down weight. Um so hopefully I can dig a little bit harder on that end and break another servo. Well hopefully not just yet, but uh Anyway, um, thanks for watching. Uh, don't know if I'll get a video out before Christmas or not, so have a good one, everyone. Um, but anyway, we'll, uh, we'll see if we can take this out for a test at some point soon. I don't know if it's going to be icy tomorrow, so I don't know if I'll get the chance to actually get into the ground, but uh, 
yeah, hopefully as I said that's made it a little bit more capable now. So, thanks for watching. Bye now.